What's up everyone and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Now you are going to learn how to create the epic eye in transition. Guys, I love that one. And good news, you don't even need to create a particular shot for this one now because with AI, you can use pretty much any shot and create an eye in transition. That's just one amazing case of AI helping us to create cool effects and I want to share this method with you. I used this effect in a recent video with Samsung, you can see here, and I also used it in a fully AI generated video edit montage, which I posted a few weeks ago, which you can see here. And I think it's just a great effect in general. And now with AI, we can literally create this with any shot. So I would say, let's jump right in. All right, first of all, we are firing up after effects to create this cool transition. I have my clips already prepared, so I'm going to create a new project here with command I importing my clips, just directing to my folder. Here are the clips I want to transition in between. So first of all, we have that amazing shot, which is actually also generated with AI. If you wanna learn how to generate those kind of effects and images and videos in general, make sure to check out Creative Stuff. I have an in-depth uh, module just on how to create AI content and transitions. Let's jump right in how I created this transition here into the eye. So you see the camera does not go close to the face and you can do exactly the same as I showed you as a preview with real footage as I used for the Samsung video. And I want to tra transition into this shot here. So first of all, I'm dragging the clip where I want to transition into the eye onto the new comp icon. I call this one now the comp one. And in here, I need to reverse the speed. So we go to time, reverse layer, time, reverse speed. So now I want at the end to be close to the face because that's where we are going into the eye. So with that clip here, this one I'm dragging onto a new composition again. In the composition settings, I'm stretching out the duration a little bit. so to about 10 seconds here. So we have the transition here going in and then transition into the next clip. And I'm also doing the same with the second clip, just creating a new composition. So everything is clean. And that new composition I dragged into our main timeline. So let's rename this one quickly to the main timeline. It's really important to have a clear structure in naming your comms and clips so you always know where you can find everything. So here in the main timeline, I'm dragging in the second clip as well. Boom, just like that. And now we have both clips here in the timeline. And quick tip here, you see we have some borders because it's not matching the composition size. And you can quickly match a clip to the composition size and with option command F, boom, just like that. Now it's fitting the comp size. Perfect, that's just a little side note. Now I want to go to the last frame here where we want the eye transition to start. I want to set the in point here and the out point here as well. So we're going to export a PNG sequence to have that PNG to feed into Higgs field. That's where we're going to generate the first part of the transition. And then we have to retouch the transition to make it look cool. And that is a great example for using AI tools, but with our skills that we have, because we are editors, we can now take really advantage of AI because we need to refine things afterwards to really make it look high quality and pop. So let's set here the in and out points for that last frame. That is all we need. It's just the last frame here. Go to file, export, add to render queue, just like that. And now here we are setting it to format and then PNG sequence, yes, and here, we are going to find the output. I want it inside the AI eye transition folder and just create a new folder, PNG. That's it, perfect. And then you just have to hit render literally. And now, boom, already done. Now we direct to our folder here. Main timeline here is the PNG. And now we are open up Higgs field. And here we are choosing video. Here on the create button, then direct to video. And in here, we have the option to browse through all those amazing effects. They really have sick effects and they're adding new effects weekly and it's just insane. But we are looking for the eye transition and they actually have a preset for that here in the Higgs field controls. All right, so I just selected the eyes in effect. So now I just have to upload the image we just exported as a first frame because we want to start the animation from that first frame, right? and we don't even need to describe anything. You can choose enhance off or enhance on. I like to just keep it on for now and just hit 
generate. This way we are going to actually generate a clip with our first frame, which is the last frame of our After Effects clip here. And then we can just add it here to the timeline and create an epic eye transition. So this is going to take a few minutes. You can do it. All right, perfect. We now have the generated clip. Let's play it back. It looks not too bad. Look at that, perfect. So I think I would just try it again, but I think the purpose of this video, this totally works. You can play around. Sometimes the eye closes before we get closer with the camera towards the eye and I would just like give it a couple more tries. But here you can then download your version you like and then I'm just going to drop it into the right folder. So I have it here now in my downloads. I'm just gonna drop it here into my right folder for the project. Perfect. Let's bring this clip here into the main comp. I would just rename it quickly in transition. Nice. And then we can just drag it in here. I just drag it onto the new comp icon. Perfect. So we have the clip here and I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty cool, right? So now I'm going to jump into the first clip here. And you remember we have here the reverse clip and now we can also go here into composition, composition settings, and then change the duration to something like 10, 10 seconds. So now we have some more space here to bring in our transition comp. And now since we are matching the first frame, look at that. It's just seamlessly going into the transition. And here again, what did we learn? We just press Option, Command F, boom. And now we fit the frame size and we have a seamless clip towards the eye. And now we can create a transition into the eye. And I'm going to show you how. I just see we need to make the clip duration a little bit longer. So let's say 12 seconds. So we go all the way here. Oh, that was a little bit too long. Now on the transition clip, we are going to apply the effect Mocha. And then we're going to mask out the inside of the eye so we can go through the eye. So first of all, going to define when I want the mask to start. I don't need it all the way to, to the beginning here. I'm just going to cut it with Command Shift D and until here, I only need to mask it out, I guess. So I'm going to apply Mocha, just use FX console here. Mocha is, right, is built right into After Effects. I'm gonna launch Mocha and in here, I'm going to the last frame or maybe something something around here. So we can see the full black circle here inside the eye and I'm just going to draw a circle mask around it. So I just choose the circle mask here and created this layer. And now I just need to quickly reposition it so it matches the eye size. And then it's within seconds, we're going to mask out the part here in the center, just like that. Boom, that's totally fine. I'm also going to check perspective and then we can just track that mask, clicking here on the tracker forward and backwards. And now you can see here, it's seamlessly tracking the eye, which is super cool. Oh, well, here it lost the track. So here it jumped back, but here everything looks actually pretty good. Let's track it again. Yeah, it also, it goes with the poles. I think that's super cool. Nice, the track looks good. And I don't think this is even a problem that's losing here at the end because that part is probably more than enough to go through the eye. So I'm just going to save it because this part is totally fine. This is going to be more than enough of duration of the clip of the mask to transition clean into the eye. Save here the track. And now we are going to, yeah, just open up here the matte option on the mocha effect and then we're just going to click create after effects mask and look at that here yeah we lost the track right so here it jumps into the right tracking so we're just going to cut trim the duration for the part for the clean part and nice this is a clean mask guys and now here mocha just created an after effects mask so we can just press m and see all the mask options with the track and now we can invert the mask and now we have a clean cutout here the center of the eye which is just epic, I think. <laughs> it was pretty quick, right? So now what I would like to do is increase the feather a little bit so we don't have that hard of a border here. So 10, 10 should be fine. And now what I like to do is I like to duplicate this layer and call this one transition inside. Yes, and then I'm unchecking invert. So now we have the inside of, of, the, of the eye 
here and here I'm changing actually in the mask options the expansion a little bit because you can see if we go closer because of the feather there's we can see through the clip it's not it's not like filling up the whole space you can fix that easily by changing the mask expansion you can see here with change, changing the mask expansion so we can close that gap here boom just like that so we don't see we can't see through and now all i actually do is we just fade it out starting from here I want to slowly fade out the inside of the eye so we can transition through and see the clip behind it. So pressing T for opacity, opacity 100, creating a keyframe, putting all the way down to zero and we can smooth it as well. And then just like that, it slowly disappears and we can actually trim the comp, setting the out point here and shift command X, we just trimmed it. And just like that, we have created such a cool clip. I think it's just so cool how seamless we go in here and then the eye, boom, the inside of the eye just fades out. I think that's great. And now the last step is actually just going inside of the eye. And for that, you can just jump back into your main timeline. We're gonna change the duration here of the clip again and extend it. So we see everything of the clip. We're gonna extend the duration here as well. So here it goes all the way to the end. Now it's fading out and we already see the clip behind it. Now it's pretty easy to create a transition, right? All we have to do now is actually, I like to change here. It's, it's pretty simple, but it works. I like to change the anchor point here to the center of the eye. At the end here, you can see this is the center around here. We then, if we have the anchor point in the center of the eye, we can just open up scale with S and just create a scale keyframe here to go all the way in here. Now we can also go into the speed graph here, right click, edit speed graph and we can change the speed a little bit of the scale keyframe. So we go in like that. So it just goes smoother in, right? So looking at the result, this is pretty cool, I think. And now you can play around with the speed graph and yeah, change everything to your liking, to your shot. And yeah, that is the eye transition. Pretty, pretty easy, I think. Pretty straightforward with the help of AI and to just bring in more flow and like smooth everything a little bit more we can now add speed ramps to make everything just more interesting and if you don't know how to create speed ramps make sure I just uploaded a speed ramp tutorial a few days ago but if you want to learn it with tracking make sure to check it out yeah here I'm just pre-comping that clip so I can create a clean speed ramp right click on it time enable time remapping and then here Let's say until here, I want a normal speed. And then here, where we go into the eye, I want to speed up the clip to have, yeah, to make the transition a little bit faster. So just bring those keyframes closer together. This way, I speed it up. You see? Now it's faster. But it doesn't look really great yet. That's why we can go here back into the speed graph. And you see here, it's just a linear keyframe. Now with smoothing this keyframe here, we can ramp it up again, same as we did with smoothing the keyframe for the scale. And just like that, we can go smoothly into the eye. And you can see here, we should already see some footage behind it. So we're moving the clip a little bit more to the left, the one below, and just like that, we can transition into that clip. So here we have the normal speed going in, and we can also add force motion blur. I'm gonna show you the difference here because we are really fast here in terms of speed. So we add the force motion blur, just like that. We add a natural motion blur, boom. This way we go super smooth into the eye. I really like that, just trimmed that clip here. You can also play around with speed ramps here, make things faster and slower to make in general clips more interesting. Yes, and if you're interested how to work with AI footage, let's say the girl you see here, we have the full module inside the creator slot. Make, it, make sure to check it out because we have all in-depth tutorials in there, all my knowledge, literally. This is, just wanna give you a sneak peek and of course some value, how to create effects like those. And I think this is pretty, pretty sick. So check this one out. Just like that, we have created the eye transition. Nice. And to move with the speed here, we could also go in here and change the time on this clip here as well. So let's say you want to speed up this clip, just bring those keyframes closer together. Make sure you're here at the one, otherwise you're at speed zero. You want normal speed. Just like that, we can now go into the clip here, take the speed, 
And yeah, we have a super sick transition. You see, I cannot stop working on that. It's like, it's an addiction. I just love playing around with the clips here and make some sick edits. So yeah, I think that already looks super sick. And I really want to show you the opportunities that we have now with those AI tools and how to use them. And if, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like to see, you would love to see what kind of effects. I'm super, super happy. I really, really enjoy making these YouTube videos for you. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you have learned a lot and I can't wait to see you in the next one.